Just a quick video on how to bass boost your song or make your 808s hit harder or make the low end in your song more prominent. So first you're going to want to go to your 808s or your kicks or whatever you want to hit harder, your bass, and route it to a track. So I have it on track 1. I'm going to go to track 1 and put an EQ on. So right here, parametric EQ 2. And then from here you can just mess with the low end. If you go too high. If you go too high, it distorts like that, so just find a happy medium. So something like that sounds good to me. If you use your scroll wheel, you can adjust the wave, so you can move it more to the left. Make it more accurate. So that's what you can do if you made the beat. If you didn't make the beat, what you could do if you took it off YouTube, you could go here, double click it, route it to a track, we'll say track two. You can do the same thing. So you can go EQ, but the issue you're gonna run into is, the issue you're gonna run into is it's gonna make all of the instruments have higher woes. So it might like mash together could get muddy. See how it gets quiet? So that's why it's better when you're doing it on a song that you made. So apart from just boosting the lows, what you can do is go into here, click on your sample itself, click here, pre-computed effects, and mess with the boost. You're going to see the wave right here get shaped differently. There we go. If you do all this and they're still sounding muddy, what you're going to want to do is go to your sample right here, write it to something, or if, yeah, if like your kicks are hitting harder and your 808s aren't sounding the way you want them to, you're going to want to go to here, route it to a track, and then put an EQ on that, and you're going to want to take out the lows in it. So. space for your lows to hit on the 808 track. So yeah, that's the video I have for you on how to make your bass sound better in your songs. Thanks for watching. If you liked, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike. Thank you.